And uh, this is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I can, I'm going to tell you something that's going to really blow you off your rocker. I want you to know what I know. And this is what I know. On this planet, there are a lot of people. And I've only been a few places on this planet. And some of us have been even less. Still many have gone around the world. But here in America, we all know what's going on. We don't know why, most of us, even though we think we do. And the thing that's most belittling is that we think we don't know how to fix it. And as I have told you before, ladies and gentlemen, I brought the message to you that we were living in the devil's kingdom. This devil established this kingdom with Adam and Eve. For those of you who think that Adam and Eve might not have been the first people, they represent the first people that begun us being established in a kingdom of Satan's rule, the Luciferian rule. And I say that because of the ugliness that I see, the pain, the suffering. And uh, no one is interested who have power to do something and know it in uh, changing the situation and making it better. But the dreamers in dreams, as we have learned, are no good without hand and feet, and arms and mouths and eyes, and brains. And so I want you to know this happens because we are in darkness. Good God. I'm going to have, my camera just went off. I'm going to have to keep on with this without that. They're traveling in darkness. And to know this, we will recognize that we are as dead. We have no more power than someone in the grave. We are helpless in the grave. And so we move as we are moved. But when the truth comes to you, it reveals itself to you. You're so happy. It's like somebody releasing you from the grave. You rise from the dead and you become alive. You become alive to represent life you become alive to represent love. You become alive to represent truth. You become alive guided by that ever yearning selfishness that says, do unto others as you would have others do unto you. And you know you want the best done to you. That's why you say, God, do it. And in order to get that, you got to see that in every other individual. So that means the decisions you make, the way you respond in life must recognize an interest, a premier interest in all of the other people in the world because they, by the power of God, are you. And so you just choose to do the right thing. Now, what will happen when you do the right thing? Well, the story tells us that Satan will do his thing. Lucifer will do his thing. Those who are proud, who refuse to respect God as being the authority, but rather themselves, they will come up as Cain did to Abel. His brother slept with him, played with him, fought with him. His brother kills him because he must have his way. And what did God do? God allows Abel to die in the flesh, to be born in the spirit. Now what that represents, ladies and gentlemen, I can't begin to tell you. All I know that we must worship God in spirit and in truth. That means to me, to be guided by that light of light, 
that light of truth. Be guided by that. And then and therein, we worship God. And everybody knows it. Everybody knows it because they never been loved like that before. And like Abel, it's wherever God wants him to be. As you and I will be, wherever God wants us to be. But wherever we will be, it will be where life is. It will be the light of life. And why? Because you are there for no other reason than you are there. The whole world might want to bow down for one reason or another and end up worshiping Satan. Is it because Satan gives them all of the money they want, can imagine? Is it because Satan can put them on a stage and let them shine until they're old and when they're old they can have facials and so forth and appear to be young again but old in spirit? Is it that Satan can transform their inheritance uh, as an inheritance down the generations, maintaining a force at the expense of so many? No, no, not you. You're going to stand up for what's right. And let me tell you a secret. You feel real good about it. I mean, the spirit of God is in you when you do stuff like that. And you feel fantastic. Everybody else is afraid for you. Everybody else is, um, who are not afraid for you are thinking that you're ignorant and that you're stupid. And they wouldn't do it for anything. But you, you have the right spirit. It's God's spirit. And you do it. And you are in bliss. And when the evil one who wants to be God and going to kill you because you won't yield and give them authority. He's not really trying to kill you for that. He's trying to now make an example out of you. That anybody else out there who tries this. To stand up. And resist. Will get this. And people who are still living in darkness will be guided by this. And all the hell that comes will be on them. And God has given them the choice. And anyone who stands up becomes the example from God to the world. It is something for them to follow. So I say to you, that's about it for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>